la loko anu ndo mo ne genti e kene mu o kekene wa we si ndo mili ndo azu asu mo mili atanga ma azu anu no nko ye chiru nya ze no nde ba nyi fo nyo nya nne me no bochi nke ta to nye nne ziga lo zia bu nwa na inwo ke nka na akpo ma zi je park comedy o nwe li fo nyo nyo o me mkpulo bochi o le mo le gara gara mfo e bo na ajwa juju ande o ni mi fo nyo nya o si kwa na nya ni di mo ka za nya nya ba juju nko ju anyo aka mbi ale zia no bochi nke ta ta Mwesi, before ngaba niru, e ngolo uzo oku na abon chole egwe. O ngolo oku, ege ebe bifi iti nyonu, idi very, very careful. Idi extraordinary careful. Bifi iti nyonu oku anhonu. Oku deka. Oku ligo li si mado. Mwe ngwa obala mado. Bifi iti nyonu oku dia ndi ona honu. Ige adi extremely careful. Mama li fi ni eku. Andonisi agani. Nkoso obolo kwa. Uku. Mado. Isina mado la unye mado. Mwowe toba unye madi me mwono. Buho nya nwa mwota unwa nwa. Nwa nyo zo mwota liya. Uzo kuna haba. Iga di. Very careful. Extraordinary. Bifi itinye bi onu. Nyo wabu uku ncho yeto kumakana. Udi uku anwa. Abu uku anwa ya jos. Epo toz ubi mapanye. So. Bifo ngaba niru, onyu nuna nonu yonu kwa chinke tata. Kabu kwa nga nunu woke, mazi achebe pol. M-A-P, ezi yoku bundu, wan in Biafra land. Bifo nza, mazi J-Pak, ajuju, nge wobe tenya bifo nyo nyo. Ka yi gye nyanti, ka ndo ozo wenu kwa di ajuju. Nya, unu nuchanya, ayewe zanya, ka yi wobe tenya J-Pak. Over intelligent question in Charejo, and that intelligent question, he need an email intelligent reply, intelligent comment. Open him and he won't answer this question. More shortly, Nico, don't comment. But what I am asking from you, make sure you watch this broadcast. From beginning to the end, so that you will know how you will answer this question. That question, I'm telling you, I'm ready for example. Oh, when it comes to no, na na la cho Simon Eba, biaka biaka from Finland, came to arrest. But that in Nigeria with Interpol, I don't know where arrest. So, I don't know where arrest. Let me not say what I don't know, but in case they go to show, na na cho ari. Which in Tapo came arrest from Finland, Burate, Nigeria. Fine and good. Let me come with my question. And I want you to listen attentively so you can know where you will answer this very intelligent question. Now, let's assume now Simon Neba, now it was where I want to court with the federal government and Interpol, I will succeed here. And all on the Ibo, but I have one account. I do come to Azuo, where Bunata Simon Eba from Finland. Nima de Bunata Simon Eba from Finland. Ibo de got the assets. Ibo de got a federal headquarters Abuja. Be he be terrorism. Na egemunti. Ibe se he be terrorism. Bunata Simon Eba mege ne. To ba nyekwa Eba to ba yere na ndekano. Now. My question is this. Open the federal government may be Simon or Eba. It be for terrorism. Can you bag a name be? Nandekano. And will you teach the good Nandekano go up a potter? Can we need to have a Nandekano because the government is in Iraqa against Nandekano but no terrorist case. They prostate, bro, huh? As terrorist terrorist people or terrorist group, I get release in that the car no no about a terrorist something. Can gauge the way can about how to join Naju because the Agana say no go the same Biafra Biafra the same Ipom Ipom. Whether no or you can carry me in Kenozo Zirezi or no they may know Zirezi. 
ye nje re jo bo ajujo and e ne dirim ka nde mo ifa na ko na egu begini zama ajujo a eh e zama ajujo a ma like e ka e mara ke na da ibu ndi igbo begini e ba e ku agu makara gi e da lo nu ai u na nu gonya bo ajujo j park e nju now j park listen attentively Kanzagia, we chant to go for Makia listening. No, first of all, Nigerian government is not looking for Simon Epa. Underline the word Nigerian government is not looking for Simon Epa. Number two, Onye Su Simon Epa to court is Barrister Ifani Ejofo, the IPOB lead cancer. And the reason Ojuwe Suonya to court is what I will read out to you. Now, listen attentively to the charges that Stefan Ejofo leveled against Simon Eba and the, the, what led to it. Number one, Simon Eba, who based in Finland, accused Barista Stefan Ejofo of selling Mars in Namdekano. Pay attention. Number one, Simon Epa accused Barista Ifan Ejiofo of selling Mars in Namdekano, which exonerated everyone wrongly or truly accused of the said act. People, persons like Nigerian politicians, Nigerian government, Kenyan government, Dr. Nelly. Ofebu and the rest of them who was or who is being accused of selling Mazin Amdekan with this single accusation from Simon Epa have exonerated those people. That is number one. Why Barista Jofo sued Simon Epa? Number two, Simon Epa accused Barista Ejofo of being the reason why people of old eastern region are in bondage meaning that efanye jofo have become a or been a stumbling block agadaba chuluzo for the development of ndigo that efanye jofo have blocked every sources and anything that is due for ndigo efanye jofo is blocking it that was allegation leveled against him by simon Epa. number three Simon Eba accused Barry Stephen Yejofo of practicing GAY with Nigerian politicians. That is third accusation. And the, his group, no called Omoada, come out in a video and say that they have the videos of Stephen Yejofo to prove the allegation of Simon Eba in any length. They will take him or anywhere they call him for. So that is number three. Number four, Simon Epa accused Barrister Ifan Yejofo of impregnating Mazin Namdekano's wife. Simon Epa accused Barrister Ifan Yejofo of impregnating Mazin Namdekano's wife and said that the last child of Mazin Namdekano was fathered. By Barestefan Ejofo, meaning that Mazin Namdekan is not the biological father to his last child. That is the fourth accusation leveled against Ejofo by Simon Epa. Number fifth, which is number five, Simon Epa accused Barrister Ifan Ejofo of killing his personal assistance in the person of. Mr. Samuel Okoro. Now, Mr. Samuel Okoro is a personal assistant to Barista Ifan Ejofo, and he was murdered by the Nigerian DSS. Simon Eba is now exonerating the Nigerian DSS of invading Barista Ifan Ejofo's house and the, 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 and the killed his personal assistant and burnt his body to ashes with Barista Ifan Ejofo's. Now Simon is telling you that 
that very act, that very atrocities was not carried by Nigerian government. Rather, it was carried by Baris Stefani Ejofo. And they don't forget that Baris Stefani Ejofo have sued Nigerian DSS in the Nigerian court. And he won the case, which proved that Nigerian DSS carried out that very actions, atrocities. And if Anye Jofo have also sued Nigerian government to, for damage to reward the family of Mr. Samuel Okoro, who is a personal assistant to Baris Stefanie Jofo, and he won the case, and he, the family, the court ruled that the family will be given 155 million. Now, Simon is telling you that, telling the whole world that that very act is wrong, and the Baris Stefanie Jofo should be held responsible for the killing of his personal assistants. That is the fifth allegations. Now, the sixth allegation, Simon Eber accused Barry Stephen Yejofo of killing Ndibo, meaning that the atrocities, the killings that have been going on, the killing by the Nigerian army, Nigerian police was carried out or are being masterminded by Paris Stefan Ejofo. These accusations is what Simon leveled against Ejofo. Meaning that the Fulanese that is raping our girls, our mothers, and killing are being masterminded by Paris Stefan Ejofo. They, just they write it one after the other because I want you to. Take, ev to take note of everything I am saying here. Now, number seven, Simon Eber accused Paris Stefan Yejofo of trying to kill Mazin Namdekanu. Mazin Namdekanu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. And the Baris Stefan Yejofo is the one of the lawyers representing Mazin Namdekanu. And Simon accused him of trying to kill him. Pay attention. Then, number eight, Simon Eber accused Baris Tejofo of calling Mazin Namdekanu a madman. The video is everywhere in circulation. All these things that I read out here now, the videos and proofs are in Simon Eber's uh, Enter Biafra. You will see all of them there. They are all there. I want you to pay attention. All these accusations are the reasons why Balasefan Yejofo sued him so that he will come with the proofs of all these accusations to, to prove to the world that he, Balasefan Yejofo, committed all this crime. Now, all these accusations, all these accusations have people like USA, EU, uh, African Union, and the uh, all the international communities, all of them are interested in hearing the proofs and basically not on social media. Not on social media. The lawsuit was the best way to clear all these accusations once and for all. And don't forget that Barista Ifan Yejofo is a member of Nigerian Bar Association, which means he is a Nigerian representing Mazin Namdekan, who is fighting for Biafra. And Simon Epa accused him of all these things. Now, the court case you are talking was, was Efany Ejofo is the person who sued Simon Epa, with the, so that Simon will now come and declare all these accusations leveled against him. He don't expect Efany Ejofo to come on social media to defend himself. The place he will defend himself is in the court, any competent court, anywhere in the world. That is the place he will defend himself. And that was the reason he sued Simon Eber. Now, coming to the area you said that what will Simon be charged? Simon is not charged for terrorists. Simon is charged based on what or the allegations he leveled against Barry Stefan Yejofo, it has no connection with Biafra restoration, it has no connection with freedom of Mazin Namdekan, and it has no connection 
with the uh, what the Nigerian government is charging Mazin Amerikan. Coming to the area, you said some Igbos are signing petition to bring him down or something like that. Now, in the videos that is circulating, you hear Simon Epa ordering his boys to kill anyone who come out. And his boys killed a pregnant woman in Enugu. And also his boys went to our market to, to, to rob our women. The video is there, Mr. J. Park, and they are aware of it. Many people lost their life because of the order of Simon. Simon did not give his boys order to go after the enemies of Biafrans. Rather, Simon gave his boys order to go for Ndibu, which the video is everywhere. And the voice record and the video record is in Enter, enter Biafra. Go to Simon YouTube. You will show those ones. They are not accusations. You will see the proofs, the facts are there. Now, Mazin Namdekan is being charged. Everything that Mazin Namdekan have been charged, you, I saw you once, one certain time in the law court, and you were, you, 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 you were there. You know what Mazin Namdekan have been charged of, and the court of appeal have discharged and they have pitted Mazin Namdekan that he has no case to answer. He committed no crime. So if Simon, is fighting for, for Biafra and is fighting for Mazin Amdekan and at the same time levels huge accusation against Mazin Amdekan lawyer. What do you think that he is doing and who do you think he is working? I want to ask you one question, Mr. J. Park, comedy. If you are to be a funny, a Jofo, and all these allegations were leveled against you, as a legal practitioner, what will you do? Will you approach court to clear your, your, your name and to make sure that your reputation will not be damaged, will not be killed, brought down by anyone? Or will you, be, will you fold your hands and watch the person level such accusation against you? What will you do? I need your answer. And also... For those of you who are thinking that Nigerian government is going after Simon Eba, Nigerian government is not going after Simon Eba. The people that are going after Simon Eba are the people Simon Eba leveled accusation against. And they want him to come with the proofs and evidence of the accusation he leveled against them so that they will settle the case amicably. Don't forget that Barrister Ifanye Jofo has a Fulani person as his client. But Stephen Yejofo has a Yoruba person as his client. But Stephen Yejofo has an Aousa person as his client. But Stephen Yejofo has an Igbo person as his client. But Stephen Yejofo has foreign and local persons as his client. And the, this person is level, leveling such accusation against such person and you want the person to pipe low. So like you just ask, what will Simon Epa be charging against? Ch Simon Epa will be charging for the allegations he leveled against a Jofo and the, for the activities, the killing of the pregnant woman and the robbing of our, our market women. These are the charges Simon Epa is facing. Nothing more, nothing less. So since he, he has the proofs and his own group called Omada has the videos. Let him go to court to defend himself and the uh, proof and the tender all the proofs that Ifan Yejofo committed all these crimes I listed here. And that is what uh, that was the reason he is going to court, not Igbo or Biafra restoration. And I want to ask you lastly, Mr. J. Park. If you say Simon is working for Mazin Namdekan, who is the mouthpiece of Mazin Namdekan? Where will Mazin Namdekan speak through his people apart from the lawyer? Simon threatening that he will bring down Efany Jofo. Mazin Namdekan, through his lawyers, have disassociated himself from Simon Eba and the, his uh, activities. The question I want to ask you now is this. If Mazin Namdekan disassociate himself and the wife of Mazin Amnikan disassociate herself 
and the IPUB have disassociated themselves from Simon Eber. Who is Simon Eber working with? And why Simon Eber accused Mike of second me? A lawyer, Jimako, if I need Joffo, Nemeke Joffo, Mandela, GOS, everybody, including Mazen Namdekano family of selling Mazen Namdekano, only him, Simon Eber, have not sold Mazen Namdekano. Ask yourself this question. Once again, my name is MAP, it's Yokubundo. And please, I need answers to my question too, as I have answered you. But uh, Simon Eber is not charged for terrorism. Rather, he didn't charge for accusations against Barista Jofo and the killing of market women and pregnant women. Thank you. Mazinam Dekan, you have never ordered any killing of any person in Biafra land. And he's being charged for as a freedom fighter. And Court of Appeal have discharged him and acquitted him. Unless you, Mr. J. Park, want to tell us that the Court of Appeal ruling is invalid, then I want to know. Let Simon Eber come to court to prove his own innocence against all the accusations leveled against the GFO and uh, also be free as Mazin Amdekan have proved himself. Thank you and remember, bless. Almost here, dear friend. Once again, this is MAP, is your one thing.